Welcome, everybody. You know why we're here today? Today's adventure is going to bring us around the city of Toronto, the packed, crazy city of Toronto and the greater surrounding area to visit all the locations from the 1997 stoner classic, Half-Baked, starring Dave Chappelle, Jim Brewer, Harlan Williams, Guillermo Diaz, directed by Tamara Davis. For the first time ever, 25 years after its release, we are gonna seek out every location from Dave Chappelle's Half-Baked. Here's a shot here of Memory Lane from the film. It's what it looked like in 1997, and this is the street now, as I'm showing you. You can tell by that gate there on the right, that's the dead giveaway. Obviously, the Memory Lane sign is not there. It says Memory Lane anywhere in the US, mid 80s. Really, it was Oxford here in Toronto, Oxford Street. You see these homes in the film, if you look carefully. The poles on there, some of them been painted different colors. This gate on the right beside Ryan is the first one you see as the camera moves down this street. There was obviously no construction, but there you have it. Dave Chappelle's voice says, what's up everybody? I'm Thurgood Jenkins. And this is the street, Oxford Street in Toronto. Sorry about the construction, but you see many of these houses and you see little kids run by right here. See this, you see those little kids? I'll show you the screen grab, but they run right by here, this opening. Some of the houses have changed slightly, but this big tree, pretty sure they ran right by this big tree, if I remember correctly. Pretty cool, it's probably the same tree from the film. Here's the screen grab right here from the other side of the street. Notice that some of the fencing is a little different. However, exact same street and sidewalk and notice those houses and their staircases in the front. Opening shot, it shows that the boys, none of this was here, it was just this wall. Now the dead giveaway is this fence right here and that green awning above it. You'll see that in the shots I'm gonna show you. Not to mention the door. In the movie, the door had no graffiti, but it's right here. This is the door from the film, look at this. This is the dead giveaway. These bricks that go this way, and these that go this way. Here's the door. Had no spray paint in the film. This is pretty cool though. You ever seen a bike lock up that looks like that? Look at that. That's awesome. Well, this is where the kids smoked their first joint in the movie Half-Baked. This fence is a movie star. So is that awning. So is that door. The Half-Baked. It smells like pee over here. Oh, people still get high out here. God dang. Anyways, this is where they smoked that first joint. You can see this fence at the time unspray painted. Like I said, that awning. I'll show you the pictures to match it up. Screen grab right here that I'm showing. There's the kids about to smoke their first joint with the lovable old James, who wasn't really there. And the dead giveaway for this spot is that awning in the top right corner and the fence beneath it. That's how I matched this whole spot up on Google Maps dumpsters you'll notice this fence as I'll show in the pictures plus that awning right there was the dead giveaway that's how I found this on Google Maps the door which was not spray painted in the film let me know where I was and this is the exact spot right where these bushes are as the boys are about to enter the convenience store here's what it looked like in 1997 and the bricks are the dead giveaway no other convenience stores have the brick design just like that with the two rows Facing downward at the bottom, same sidewalk they're walking on to come around the corner to head into the convenience store. Hey, birdie. So yeah, these bricks here, you'll see the boys come right down here, slinking their way by these exact bricks, which I'll show in the matchup shots, what they look like in 97. And they came up this exact sidewalk. You'll notice the embankment here. They move their way right by these windows Younger Dave Chappelle bends over to pick something up right here and they go into these front doors. This shot here is even better where he's bending down to pick something up right before they turn the corner to head into the shop. Notice the two windows there. 
It's a full shot of the store. You'll notice that red awning very well in the film. You see the shape of it better over here. Those two windows, I Google mapped for a couple days to find this. Nobody knows where this location is. A convenience store from Half Baked. And like I said, the biggest dead giveaway really was the way these bricks are. These ones are straight in the bottom two rows and then they go this way up here. Stuff's kind of covered up now, but that is pretty cool. Okay, so as the boys come this way, you see one of them stumble down this direction. The store is still pretty much set up the same. Yeah. Baking soda. Where did you find it? Right there. One of the dead giveaways, too, as I'll show in the before pictures, is the way these lights are. It's bright silver lights. The shot of the interior in the film there. Uh, notice that the ice cream and everything is still over there. Right, the fridges may have been different. The shelves are set up the same. And that was in the film. You can see how it's matched up right beside that light in the picture I'm about to show, which means Kenny would have been coming out of the big gulp. A giant slushy was set up right here. Oh. Yeah, that silver, the silver behind the lights up there and that exit sign let me know that this is indeed a convenience store used in half baked pretty cool one more shot there look at that that's the exit sign from half baked okay here's a shot of kenny then coming out of the big gulp from the film i matched up those lights using google maps found the interior and then i knew for sure this was the spot was not listed there's the exit sign on the right and the two lights so this is right where he was coming out of that big gulp more shot of that exit sign that was the giveaway that's how i knew this was the exact store i was looking for most of it set up pretty much the same as it was in the film <laughs> jim brower's younger self bang final shot uh, when they come out of the store it's nighttime and yeah notice the top of the store Still red, everything's still the same. Two windows to the right, the brickwork, sidewalk. I'm glad I found it. There, it was nighttime. Notice how when they go in, stoned, it's daytime. Walked right along here. And when they're coming out, he hits his head right on that part of the door. And yeah, you'll notice that it was nighttime after they walked out of the store. There it is. The convenience store from Half Baked, 1997. Before we see Farragut inside working as a janitor, you see a shot a couple times in the film that pans down from the building just like this. Just like that. And up here it said frankincense and burr. Get it? Because we're in Canada. Frankincense and burr. And then these are the doors he would have come out of after work. See Dave Chappelle coming out of the doorway there. Uh, I could tell it's this staircase because I counted the number of the stairs by the hand railing there. There's about six. And you see the gentleman who walked out in front of him walking down in front of him there. It says frankincense and burr. Get it? Because it was filmed in Canada. <laughs> but it's the TD building right here. You can see that in the background as I'll show in the picture and this doorway leading to the escalator the concourse so Chappelle was mopping right around here that's what he was doing his mopping okay so here's Dave Chappelle just inside of the TD Center right here doing his janitorial duties and you see that open doorway to the elevator there on the left and the glass straight ahead Abba Zabba you my only friend always wanted to do that I've never had one of these pretty good That's where he was doing his janitorial duties his custodial duties here in half Bay. Dave Chappelle right there Free! Zabba. You can see the original pizza pizza tiling still left on the walls. They're now just turning this over to a Scotia Bank. 
right across from Zanzibar. Used to be a Sam the Record Man you could see quite prominently in the film when Kenny walks out of the Pizza Pizza with the pizzas. Notices the horse just over here. He walks out right here, would have been the front door. Walks out here in the New York of Canada. They weren't in New York, they were in the New York of Canada, which you could tell because this was a Sam the Record Man as you'll see in the film. So he finds the horse right over here against this pole. Feeds him a couple pizzas and uh, everything he bought. Show a couple different shots of here. When uh, you see Harlan Williams with all the munchies and he's about to share with the horse. He was just so nice. Back when this was a pizza pizza, less than two years ago, still was a pizza pizza. I'll show a couple shots. From just up here, I'm going to show a screen grab from it in a sec. You see the ambulance or fire truck, cop cars all here after he's getting arrested. But a cop. But a cop. Say it! Right here. Cinematic history right here. It's probably most people's favorite favorite scene in the movie. Death of the horse right here, which lands Kenny in prison. Still of the police officer realizing the horse just collapsed after his diabetic seizure. You can see some of those old store frames he ran by. And here's another camera shot probably taken from a crane when the police and the fire trucks have arrived take care of the horse and they arrested Kenny Harlan Williams. So that's probably yeah that's probably a crane shot right here in this exact spot. Now we're over here at the RC Harris water filtration plant in Scarborough, Ontario. About 20 minutes outside of Toronto. This served as the prison in Half Baked where Kenny was sent. Here you see a still of Dave Chappelle and Rachel True outside of what acted as the prison in the film. It's actually the R.C. Harris water filtration plant. They came out of this area with Mary Jane. Thurgood was trying to sweet talk Mary Jane and get her number. And Scarface and Brian were worried about having enough time to Poke up on the train before work. <laughs> so, it's one of the best angles I can get. Right there. And she gave the three gentlemen a lift back to Frankincense and Burr, where Thurgood was working. Right here, RC Harris Filtration Plant in Scarborough, back of the prison. Things have changed a bit, but this is the spot. Scene from the movie. There's Dave Chappelle and Rachel True outside of what acted as the prison. Really, it was here, the water filtration plant. What you can make out through the window, that's the interior of the prison in Half Baked. Kenny was incarcerated. The guy was calling him fish and was always after his fruit cocktail. It was all in there. Somewhere in there. Back it up. Get a good shot of the prison. <laughs> a lot of interesting prison scenes in Half Baked, which included Tommy Chong, <laughs> the Squirrel Master. I'll come back. I'll be looking for some cocktail. Fruit area, the parking area, they would have been parked. It would have been more fencing up for the film. Things have changed there a bit, but that's the spot right there where they would have come out. So here's an angle just covering back of the prison and that whole area. All right, let's move on. Another shot outside the TD building where Mary Jane dropped them off it was right outside of Thurgood's work, Frankincense and Burr. After they leave the prison and Mary Jane drops Thurgood off at work. See this building in the background, they pull up right about here. And she lets it out, lets them out of the car, sorry. They're all laughing at Thurgood. And he gets his number. 
One scene that happened here on these steps was Thurgood waiting for his date with Mary Jane. He was just sitting over here on the steps. Show a supporting, uh, a supporting picture in a second. But it was these stairs right here. He was just sitting here. He only had eight bucks. His date was gonna take some very careful maneuvering. Why spend it? There we see Dave Chappelle sitting on the second step of the sixth stair here. And you're waiting for Mary Jane so they can go on their date. Quite the date. We're gonna go where they went. She's getting hungry when they're walking here outside of Chinese. Outside of the Chinese food. They're in China now. She says, ah, oh, I kind of feel like some Chinese, I think she says. We go by all these fruit stands here. Fruit and vegetable stands. And there's a hot dog vendor just over here. I think she even takes them up on the soda, if I remember correctly. But it's right out here of Chinatown. And Mary Jane was getting a little tired, so they grabbed the cab. Which again, dipped down into his funds. Grabbed a cab to get to the next spot we're going to. Here's a still of Rachel True and Dave Chappelle in Chinatown here in Toronto. After buying the hot dog, she went from eight bucks to 450, and they decided to grab a cab, head for ice cream. Look at Chinatown of Toronto, prominently featured in Half Baked. Walk by some of these, it's probably not the same fruit from the film, but you get the idea. Some of these signs have changed up quite a bit, but this is the Chinatown. For him and Mary Jane pushed on to the next location. Welcome to Dutch Dreams here in Toronto. This is the ice cream store. They pulled up right over here. They pulled up right here, got out. Cabby blasphemed him and he said he should be happy with the tip I gave you. And then he said he should be kissing his ass. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's Dutch Dreams here in Toronto. The ice cream shop they went to. There's the hobo sitting with his cup against the wall there. A gentleman coming out of the door with some ice cream. And Dave Chappelle and Rachel True approaching the shop. Yeah, so this place is closed right now. We made our order. We're gonna try out some of the ice cream that they were eating in the film. And she's gonna show us right where they were sitting, which is right over here in the film. And I'll show the shots as well of where him and Mary Jane were enjoying their ice cream. It's just right over here. There's a shot of what the interior looked like from the movie when they were eating the sundae. Wicked, thank you so much. You. you can get a good angle of it there. There you go. That's where they're sitting in the film. So we can't dine there obviously right now, but we're gonna sample the ice cream. And let you know the verdict. Yeah, that's right. I went with the French vanilla sugar, sugar cone supreme. It's gonna be good. That's what this one suggested I get. Yeah, I went with it. I went with that suggestion. The Dutch dreams in Toronto. Sample some of the ice cream that they indulged in, in half-baked. This is it, check it out. The gorgeous ice cream cone. Frozen yogurts. Right, it's yogurt. 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 Lots of color to this place, it's pretty cool. So you cannot dine in, but it was nice of her to show us where they were sitting in the film, eating the ice cream. Get to eat an ice cream this size. We've been chasing these locations all day. It's time to indulge. Oh, look at that giant banana up there. 
Imagine that fell on you. Death by banana. <laughs> and the hobo was just sitting right there beside the ice cream cone. That's where they got the change, and then he had enough for his ice cream. So we gotta pick up our order over here. Pick up window. Near this colorful cow. Looks a little high himself. You high cow? You high cow? Another establishing shot inside. Yeah, there's a gnome up there. Canadian gnome. Get cotton candy, popcorn. Sort of. Let's unveil that. Let's see what you got here. Oh my. This is what you got, Ryan? Uh, no, mine was coconut. That's yours. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, with the cherry on top. And this is what Ryan got. Thanks. The cow. What is that, Ryan? That's coconut. That's uh, coconut co uh, garnish. Uh, toasted coconut. Toasted coconut garnish, little cotton candy, little fruit, vanilla ice cream. I got the vanilla as well, French vanilla. Look at this. All right. We're gonna belge into these Dutch dreams. So yeah, he was eating ice cream in the shop with Mary Jane, and she lets him know that marijuana is a bad drug. Ask him if he does marijuana. Come on, Mary Jane. Do I look like somebody who would consume marijuana? Reese's Pieces, chocolate comb. The ice cream's really good here. Should have got half baked before I did this. It's a great establishment. I'm in heaven. Better than not. Ten out of ten on the ice cream. Hmm. Napkins. Napkins, please. That's gonna do it from Dutch Dreams, famous filming location here in Toronto from Half Baked. Along with everything else we showed you. Come here to Dutch Dreams. That's olive up there. Olive up on the ledge. That's where I live. Olive up on the ledge. Thanks again, everybody, for joining in the Half Baked filming locations. And come to Dutch Dreams. This place rules. Enjoy the rest of that. Oh, hey, birdie. You want you want want what fell off? You want my garnish? My garnish fell off. You can have it. You can have some garnish. Guys are over here ready to come steal all the weed from where Thurgood works. You see them coming around here in the shot I'm about to show you on their bikes, Scarface. Because <laughs> Scarface, Brian, and Thurgood came right around here on their bikes, right by these windows. You see this other TD building behind them over here. In the picture I'm about to show you. Here you see those buildings in a shot of Chappelle and Scarface on the bikes. They would have had access to this roof over here, did a shot on there to make it look like they're on top of this building to do get all the weed from the scientists so they could sell it, break Kenny out. And over here, these doors were black at the time, but this is actually where they got busted. They came out of these doors. There was a mop, Thurgood pretended he was doing his janitorial duties. Scarface was pretending to be a mime, how his face was painted, and they got busted. 
Right here. Thanks again, everybody, for joining in. Many great celebrity appearances. Rest in peace to Bob Saget, who was in town in Toronto filming dirty work at the exact same time. And he made an appearance, I'm sure you all remember quite well, in Half Baked. Also Snoop Dogg, Willie Nelson, Jon Stewart, and many more. However, Snoop Dogg was the only one that actually smoked one of his personal joints on camera. Everybody else was actually just smoking rolled nicotine. Fun fact. Thanks again everybody for joining in on the half-baked filming locations. First time ever done. And done by me, Mr. Thrasher. Please like, please subscribe. Subscribe and let you know when a new episode goes up. You never know what we're gonna be doing here on the Mr. Thrasher show. That was a lot of fun. Toronto is hard to navigate. Nothing easy about navigating Toronto, but I tell you, that was totally worth it. I figured I should be the first to do that film that I've watched again and again since the age of 10. More than 23 years straight, so on the 25th anniversary. So there you go, half-baked locations. Thanks again. Thanks again for joining in, everybody. I hope you liked it. Come on, smoke me. What's that? Smoke me. Come on, I'm ready. I can't. I told her I wouldn't smoke anymore. Come on. Come on, smoke me. I can't. She, she's looking. She's looking. I can't do it. Come on. Okay, all right. Just, just real quick. No! No, I can't smoke it. God! Ah!